Hello, today I'm going to be showing you two different save errors, one that can happen in Pokemon Fire Red, and the other in Pokemon Emerald. Uh, one thing you should keep in mind is that this only usually applies for the older version of uh, the Visual Boy Advance. For the newer versions, this isn't a problem. So the first error is in Pokemon Fire Red, where if we boot it up here, upon booting up, it will say the M1 sub-circuit board is not installed. Then, if I actually try to save in-game, it will say, warning, there is a different uh, game save that is already saved, when that is um, not the case. There is no save file in this folder that is for Pokemon Fire Red. So say that you're just gonna write, you're gonna overwrite it anyways. It will say, save error, please exchange the backup memory. So the way that you fix this is first by closing it. One note you should keep in mind is you have to actually close the game, otherwise it won't work. It doesn't work if the game is actually running and you change it. Then you reopen it here. And what you're going to do is going, you're going to go into Options, uh, Emulator, Save Type, and do Flash 128K. Because as you can see, this is for the save file. As you can see, the save file it created here was only 64k, so you can delete this save file. And now, it should work. So when I boot it up here, we can see that there is no, the M1 sub-circuit board is not installed. And if I play to the point where I can save, there is no, there is already a, a different save file. And it saves. And if I were to reset the game, We can see that the save file is here. Now for the other error, um, the save file error with Pokemon Emerald. So upon booting up as well, we can see it says the internal battery has run dry. The game can be played. However, clock based events will no longer occur. Basically meaning that you can't plant berries or like the, the shallow cave, the tides won't like turn, I guess. Right, so you can't play it normally. And now to fix this, you're gonna go into Options, Emulator, and you're going to click Real Time Clock. And once again, you're gonna go into Options, Emulator, and set the save type to this Flash 128K. And then, now if I open it, We can see that the air message about the battery running dry is now gone. And I guess berries will work now. So that is it. The, that, is, that is all. Those are the two save game errors. If you have a problem, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see if I can help you. Till then, see you.